clear. Okay, we're up here Sunday, last day of racing in the Formula One pits, and I run into another Southern Californian, Doug Keck. Uh, Doug, good to see you here. Tell us about your journey, how you got here. Good to see you again, Rob. I was supposed to be on Team 40 Miss USA as crew chief. Unfortunately, they missed the deadline to get some paperwork in on a major modification to the airplane, um, and they were DQ'd. So I was a chief with no crew and no airplane. So That's Doug was supposed to be crew chief on Miss USA, and at the last moment there was some technical issue with that. So he backed out and uh, he said on the Facebook that, hey, I'm available, anybody is interested. And I did have crew on my team, but nobody was a certified AMP who I really can rely on, like, you know. So uh, one of the racers, Steve Temple, he spoke to Doug Keck and he was like, we got to be on this guy's team, you know, he, he is good. And then Steve Temple told me, get him on the team. It was literally like a direction. Maybe something good happened, I heard. Tell us about that. It did. Um, the first Indian air race pilot is flying number 17, Annie. Um, he had a crew, but nobody had as much experience as I do. So he offered me the crew chief position. Yeah, so uh, uh, Doug Keck, uh, he's from Riverside, California. He's an instructor in Spartan College. Amazing, amazing crew. And uh, most of the time, whenever before or after the flight, my emotions my anxiousness would be all over the place and it was him either i would go hug him before a flight or after the flight or literally be basically we built a new ignition harness for the airplane get the spark plugs um bumped the timing a little bit and got him another 200 rpm and he ended up finishing second in the bronze not bad for his rookie year up to the ramp you know really we did is? some changes uh, I added a few items and uh, I was so tense he was like it's okay we are gonna get through it you know and I was very uh, tense about my start so he really is and I'm glad you two got connected because it sounds like uh, pushed it a lot better than what he would have without you so you were crew chief of this international crew yes I was the crew chief um, push is the pilot he's from India Nazar, another crewman uh, from the Ukraine, and two other Americans on it. So we were truly an international team. And it was the most fun I've had on any team in, in the history of my air race career. Now, was everybody speaking English all the time? Were there some <laughs> choice words in their native language? There were some choice words. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell some of our fans out there, some other aspiring mechanics? I know you're a mechanic instructor. Any message you have for them out there? The opportunities are unlimited. doesn't matter what you want to do in this industry. Aviation will open doors that you can't even fathom. I never thought I'd be a uh, crew chief on air race teams around the world, but I have been. And it's, it's, it's been a rock star career. I've loved every minute of it. And truly an international sport here with the team from India. Now, Doug, you were saying you worked some hellacious hours here on that aircraft. Tell us a little bit about the life of a mechanic in Reno. <laughs> um, well, when there's problems with the airplane, you know, if, if you blow an engine, you will be up all night ch swapping engines or trying to repair the engine that's damaged. Um, in our case, it was just one late night, but with all the logistics of being here at four in the morning, sometimes we're not out till nine or 10 or 11 at night. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little sleep deprived. So no time for gambling, but Doug, we're so glad you're here to help out. Thank you for giving us a moment. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks.